What's up, everybody? Man, we're still here. You are rocking for the best. Well, I mean, we don't mean to brag, but we are the only TV station in Eastern Central Africa that plays live rock music on TV. Like, who else does that? I think I keep saying this with earned bragging rights, haven't we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> Hashtag is uh, Rock254. I'll be talking to you guys in a minute. But let's meet our guests for today. Man, I told you, three, band, three bands actually. Now, we didn't bring all the band members because that will be 20 something people. Yeah, and they will not. <laughs> And for those who don't know, so I'm going to start with Patrick. So Patrick right here is from Lone Tree, Kenya. They're, okay, so Lone Tree are, so, okay, let's just name them first and then we'll reintroduce them, right? So there's Lone Tree, there's Nekesa from Can We Sleep? Like, literally, she told us that's what happened. Like, when they were forming the band, they'll go up to 3 a.m. and she will be too tired. She'll be like, like bro, can we sleep? And they were looking for the name for the band, so they were like, yeah, we have it, we got it. Let's just, you know. <laughs> and we are here. And of course, we have Gakosh from the one and only Rush Band. Woo! Yay! Oh, so you meet in Gakosh for Kyaki. I know, that wasn't awkward at all. Like, not at all. Of course, so because there's just many other people involved, so I'm going to just go ahead and let you guys kindly just go ahead and introduce yourselves and uh, probably tell us about the other members of the band. I'm going to start with Patrick. All right, um, I'm Patrick from Lone Tree. Uh, I'm like the guitarist, songwriter of the band. Um, the other band members are not here, but we have a drummer, bassist, another um, guitar songwriter as well, and uh, a vocalist named Teresa Sanders, who's my sister as yeah. well. Yeah, she's the last boy. The last time she was here, she was 11. Yeah. She, she was, was literally 11. <laughs> <laughs> That's how long we've had this show for. She was literally 11, and she's almost 15 now, right? Yeah, she's 15 now. It's been a minute, yeah. man. It's been a minute. This interview has, it's super long overdue, but good to have you. Of course, Nekesa, you. you've been here multiple times, but let's just go through it. Again. Yeah, I'm yeah. Nekesa from Can We Sleep. It's a duo, me and Dennis from the basis from SLC. Yeah. Um, yeah, I drum and sing as well. And he does the rest. Right. <laughs> and she just, when she says, like, I sing as well, she's just trying to be, you know, modest. She's mm -hmm. literally one of the best singers we have in Kenya. She That's true. She's a great vocalist. I'm not even lying. Yeah. And then, of course, we have. Gakosh from three times a Freema winning band. Anyway, okay, anyway, I, I think I just <laughs> I'm saying three because I'm so hopeful about these years, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do Yeah, that. we are manifesting. Anyway, my yeah. name is Gakosh. I'm from Rush. Uh, we are a five piece band. Uh, we have, uh, I'm the drummer. Uh, the rest are not here for today. I'm here to represent them. Mm -hmm. As Felina said, uh, we've had four nominations for the Afrima, one, two officially, mm -hmm. and hoping to bag the last, uh, the other one, <laughs> the yeah. this year's nomination actually. Mm -hmm. So, Rush started, I think uh, we started in 2013. Right. In so, school. Yeah, we are going to be celebrating a decade next year. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we've walked the rock journey, and uh, we hope to have even more bands to be in the scene and. Uh, Let's let's support uh, rock music because I don't think there's anywhere you can feel so good about music mm -hmm. if you don't listen to rock music. I keep telling them, yeah. and even for the people who go to events, I keep telling them if you haven't to you haven't been to a rock event, then you haven't been at any concert in your life. Like until you've been to a rock concert, you haven't been to a concert at all. Am I lying, uh, it's Patrick? True. No, no, <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> like for real, like you go to events and you see people like. Um, an artist is performing and people are just sitting down, they're just recording with their phones, they're like, mm, okay, cool. And then you go to a rock event and you see madness, <laughs> things you'll never see anywhere else. <laughs> and whatever happens at rock events stays at rock events, so you'll never know. And yeah, you come. yeah, yeah, precisely. <laughs> we'll never tell. <laughs> right, so Patrick, man, it's been too long. 
four years. Yeah. Yeah. So tell us how you guys. Okay, these two we've caught up so many times. <laughs> so we're going to talk to you much more than we're going to talk to them. So oh, yeah. please, how have you guys been since we last saw you? Yeah, we've been good. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of changes throughout the year. Well, first of all, we changed our name. Yes, right? from so, Refuge. From Refuge to Lone Tree. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we we've had a lot of things going on. You know, we've. Uh, gone to play international shows a number of times yeah. since then. Uh, we've played in the U.S. a couple of times. We just came back from our U.S. East Coast tour, mm -hmm. uh, which is mainly in Tennessee, but, you know, we played up in um, Pennsylvania and Washington, D.C. as well. Um, but, yeah, yeah, we, you know, we recorded an EP during that time as well, mm -hmm. number of singles. That's all out now. It's Refuge, the EP. Um, yeah. Uh, and uh, now we're recording our first debut album, so it's you got some Look exciting stuff coming up. <laughs> well, I have an album soon. Yay! Yeah. Hi, man. <laughs> you, know, you know, you guys have been working so hard. Like, we are so proud. Aren't we? Appreciate that. Yeah, We're yeah, so yeah. proud of you guys. Yeah. Like, yeah. you, you do you. a lot. Like, these guys are literally booked at least twice or three times every single month. Yeah. <laughs> and they don't just like go to these two gigs. They go to like main. You performed with Sauti Sol. Uh, you performed yeah. with Niviri. You performed with like, you know, those big names and all that. So yeah. we're literally proud, so proud of you. And of course, we've talked about the journey. So how can you say you've evolved from, you know, gone astray mm -hmm. to woman? Like, just tell us about that transition from then to this. From yeah, that so, so I guess like, um, yeah, gone astray was our first tune. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Um, While well, you guys were still refuge. Yeah, well, we're still refuge. But um, yeah, so it's it's been a lot of changes. Um, I would say the biggest has been we're, we're just trying to expand our sound in a lot of ways. We're trying to... Um, develop it in different ways and you know we have so many influences individually uh, all the members that of course those sounds from ever, all sorts of influences are gonna come to our music and um, yeah like you like you just compare Gone Astray to a woman um, mm -hmm. two completely different tracks exactly. but um, <laughs> but yeah then again woman was also you know a collaborative track with Ben Soul, ben Soul uh, a good yeah. friend of ours yeah. um, and yeah, shout out to Ben Soul. But uh, yeah, we were just trying something different then. Mm. Um, you'll see some of those elements in our album, our upcoming album as well. But you'll also see a lot of like, you know, real rock and roll stuff in there too. So um, we're excited. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and of course, you talked about different sounds. Um, of course, uh, having different ethnicities, uh, long to almost say the refuge, uh, ethnicities, these people from Ethiopia, you have someone else for, okay, you guys, I don't know, from the States? I'm from the States and yeah. I'm half Latino as well from Bolivia. Oh, look at yeah. that. So yeah. you have different ethnicities. Like, does that actually, um, when it comes to making music, do you combine all of that and just like put it in a song? Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess in a way, yeah. Um, you know, our backgrounds have influenced a lot of mm -hmm. like what we listen to. Like, you know, I've, I grew up mainly on the blues and stuff like that. But I've also had a, a, a lot of, you know, influences from reggae to Latin music, uh, mm -hmm. which came more from my mom's side. And, um, you know, and even jazz and stuff. So, like, yeah, I would say our backgrounds have played a huge role in that and where we're from, too. So um, I guess that's why our sound is, in a way, I would say diverse. Yeah, yeah. diversity yeah. Is, is key. Yeah. And instead of, like, you know, there's some people who release music and the last song just sounds like the other one. Yeah. Like, all the songs sound the same. So it's because cool. people are not willing to experiment, I think, yeah. in the modern day. <laughs> like, I think people are not willing to, like, you know, try, try something new. Like yeah. we're all just regurgitating the same stuff from you know each other, and in in reality, everyone's so unique that I feel like th there's p so much potential, so much lost potential mm. within that that could be experimented with, right? That's true. So yeah. Yeah, like I said. Yeah. Oh, what have you guys been up to? Shout out to Dennis, man. <laughs> It's just like chilling, bro. <laughs> he's like, oh, wow. Okay, I'm going to be here a minute. Like, I feel like he's dreaming of what he's going to have for supper tonight. He's like, oh, man. Like, yo. <laughs> so, plans for tonight. So, I see Daniel. <laughs> All right, so what have you guys been up to? Um, we've been working on our album, our first album. Yay! Man! Yeah. 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 You know, I've been watching. <laughs> I'm so happy. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah. trying to... Actually, we're doing everything on our own, just the two of us. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's what we've been up to. And right. And you guys have a new single out. Yeah. What's it? What's it? Right. Tell us about this song. Uh, yeah. And the, of course, the, the inspiration behind that, of course. Uh, that, that song. We wrote it last year, mm. I think. Before we were even Can We Sleep. Mm. 
like we were just dabbling and then we just started messing around and we wrote the and, song and you are a student yeah 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 and he was in another he still is in another one still shout out to straight line connection of course yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. he's working really hard um, really hard <laughs> so yeah uh it's just a typical love song mm-hmm. just wrangles between two people and whatnot it's not yeah mm. yes it's, but not done in a typical, you know, <laughs> hey, anyway. done, <laughs> done in an indie rock kind of mm, way. The packaging you know? is different, yeah. Yeah, everything is different. Yeah. And for those who want to check it out, of course, it's on YouTube yeah. and yeah. other streaming platforms as well. Yes. yes. Yeah, so, Can We Sleep? But We is instead of E, it's 3, right? Can, of, yeah. Can W3 W3 C. C. Yeah. Cool. And that rush, of course. You yes. have been working too hard as well. <laughs> We rush is this like you guys are very unpredictable. Like we think this is going to happen and then you guys go ahead and do this. Um, don't you have an album on the way? Can we sleep have an album? Rush have an album on the way as well. <laughs> well, uh, I think we we've taken a different approach mm-hmm. when it comes to uh, creating our albums. After we did the first album, we had released like uh, two to three singles and then we compiled the rest, the rest of the songs to to the full album. Mm. But uh, with the second album, we've taken a different approach. We've been releasing songs as singles, but compiling them towards an album. Oh. So hopefully by the end of the year, maybe mid next year, we should be having a full album come out. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just released a single the other day. Uh, after Structures, we released uh, Far Beyond. Yes. And then, and that is the song that has, has been nominated. Yes, for the it's Afrima. the song that I've been nominated for the 2022 Afrima Awards. Yeah, uh, for the category of best band in African rock. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, hopefully, maybe in the next one month, we should be releasing another song. Yeah, yeah awesome. I don't, I'm so here for it. Yeah, yeah, which is going to come with a video, not just a song. Yes. Yeah, so. we love it <laughs> for TV people. <laughs> you, you've seen yeah, the yeah, song yeah, yeah. play, and Max had to find a video game or something just to yeah, put exactly. it. You know, because exactly. we need a vi- we, we need like something to play over it. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. cool. So, when so, you release music with videos, you make it easier for us, guys. Yeah. So Rush has really grown, and I think because of being together for that long, we understand each other more. Just like Patrick was saying about, uh, you know, when you come, when different people come together, mm-hmm. we have different influences. Yeah, true, true. Uh, maybe I used to listen to Lingala, mm-hmm. you know. You somewhat. try something different. And you guys yeah, play so around with Swahili as well. Exactly. Yeah. So you have to find that niche whereby you have a, an identity that's only yours. Mm-hmm. And for us, we've decided our identity is Swahili hard rock. Yeah. So, which is working well for us because I think most people, when they hear about Swahili hard rock, they want to really find out what is what it's all about yeah what it's all about yeah <laughs> yeah so i think that, that that saying that i think also it's, it's now a movement because now with with other bands like laundry and uh, can we sleep and the entire fraternity of the rock scene i think coming together because it, it's an underground scene mm-hmm. so coming together the way we are doing right now it's very important and i'd encourage guys to continue supporting each other yeah yeah that way we can all share the cake because it's, it's very big. big. It's enough for everybody. Yeah, yeah. We can all yeah. have just a, a slice of it. And are you feeling the pressure? This year's competition is... Uh, I saw the well, female well, 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 South well, well, Africa, <laughs> yeah. there's Egypt, there's Nigeria. I'm like, oh, wow. They just took it a, a notch higher. Well, are you feeling, you know? Well, there's that pressure. <laughs> uh, but that doesn't mean that we don't trust and believe in ourselves. Yeah. Because this far we've come, it's because of you guys who are watching us. Mm. You've, th- you've been the ones who've been voting for us. Mm. And uh, we trust the process. So we, we know that you guys are not going to let us down even this time. We are voting. So we, we, are, are, we are not afraid. No. We are telling them to bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> we already got two. Yeah. We're going <laughs> We're up to. Yeah. So we're excited. And of course, last year, I didn't even expect you guys. Um, like, I was excited about the nomination because you ex- you were nominated. But then there was also Tetu Shiny, who's a Kenyan. Yeah. So it's like, oh, two Kenyans, that's going to mess yeah. with the votes. Yeah. But you still won. So yeah, yeah. what's the hopeful? 
And Patrick, you guys have played at uh, different stages internationally. You've been at, uh, you are in Nashville, yeah. in Tennessee, and all these other states. How can you even compare their scene to Kenya? Because you've played at different uh, venues in Kenya and different venues internationally. Is there a way they re we relate to them or they relate to us? How, how do they compare? Would you say um, the rock scene or the... Yeah, in the rock scene. Ro okay, ro yeah. Rock scene, um, yeah. Well, I don't know. It's uh, I would say in the United States, it's it's definitely bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but like, um, there's like for when we've played for mainly you know rock oriented crowds and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. I, I just feel like in Kenya, people just need to start going to more live shows. Yeah, in a lot of ways. Uh, I think so. Across, right across all genres. Really, yeah, not even yeah. just rock. Right. It's just like we we need. There needs to be a a culture that builds. You know that live shows become like really one of the main things you go, mm -hmm. oh, I don't know what's going on back here <laughs> <laughs> but just you guys jamming like just like you guys <laughs> but, uh, just you guys jamming yeah yeah but um yeah so I would just say you know just support your local acts and you support like whether that's rock jazz blues whatever right like um yeah and to add on that I think mm -hmm. the best thing with rock concerts you will never hear playbacks yeah, you'll never hear I that. keep telling yeah, people. Sure. So I keep telling people that. When you attend those shows, they are worth it. So you will right? go home with a whole experience, you know? Yeah. So you won't go home disappointed that. Yeah. Uh, Man, let me tell you something. Not even to try to compare rock and mainstream, but just, I think last weekend, we had Ruga in the country, right? Yeah. And there was Oxlade as well. So Ruga mm -hmm. played, um, Oxlade actually played at the same venue as, um, as BN from yeah, Saudi yeah, yeah. uh, In Malindi, yeah. Bian played with a live band. Yeah. Ruga, no, not Ruga, rather Oxlade, playback. Yeah. And of course, Oxlade was paid much more money than Bian. But everybody yeah. was jamming to Bian. They were like, Bian is the only concert I would go to because he has a band and he's singing live. The rest of the people are just like, you know, it's just playback and they're giving yeah. you the yeah, mic yeah, like yeah. this to be the one. I mean, if, if you're doing so, playback, yeah. I'd rather stay at home and listen to your I know, music. Right? You know? yeah, it doesn't exactly. make sense for me to come to your concert if I'm yeah. going to listen to you. And that is something we don't do in rock. We don't do that here. Like, what are those? Like, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 we're not hating, but I feel like people just need to do better. No, we just call it a spade, like, a spade. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because you pay a lot of money for, that, for, for those concerts. So yeah. you have yeah. to, you know, make it worth their while. Yeah. I'm just yeah. thinking. Yeah. Right. And um, <laughs> unfortunately, time, man. Well, no, it is. Time is never enough. I don't know. Like, we need to have three hours back. So as you wind up, like, uh, let's talk about the docu just uh, in a few words. You guys have uh, have been filming a documentary? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Tell us, what is that all about? Um, so uh, the, the documentary was more like, you know, it was a, kind of a recording of a session. Mm. Uh, this was quite in the past already. We haven't released it yet, but yeah. still in production. Um, but it was like a live set we had at Snowball Studios uh, and it was yeah. um, our main recording area. Uh, you know, a lot of great acts have recorded there and stuff. But um, yeah. It's just kind of been, it was a, more of a live show with a bit of stuff here and there. Behind the scenes. Interest, behind the scenes. Things stuff, you don't know yeah. about you guys. But yeah. excited to see that. <laughs> to see you be vulnerable and just be yourself yeah. and all that. And shout out to Snowball. I know they're dope and yeah. all that. Yeah, right? Yeah. And you guys, we are actually, everybody here, we have an event next week i'm yeah. super excited under two three yeah what should fans expect gakosh nekesa then patrick kindly tell us as we wind up uh this one i don't know it's a whole it's going to be a whole new experience Yay. we've done the first one it was magical mm. the second one was even more magical so i don't know guys should and by the way guys it's it's october it's halloween you can come with your costumes. Yes. It's going to be lit. <laughs> right? Just come. We, yeah. we are not uh, negotiating about this concert. It's going to be awesome. Like yeah. I promise. I promise you. We will event. event. Come check this one out. And the hashtag in Akonga Monja, shout out to Yvonne. She came up with 20 rock gigs. Yes. Yeah, so you better turn yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Nikesa, can you sleep? What do you have in store for us? Uh, this is our first time actually performing as Can We Sleep. So we are really excited. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Yeah. 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 All right. And uh, Patrick. Um, well, I think the fans could expect some real live energy. Um, it's gonna be really fun. Uh, we'll bring some like trippy sounds to you, so that'll be cool. All right. You've heard it. You've heard it from the horse's mouth. If you know what that means, like they're not horses. But <laughs> 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 you get it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so 
there's something we call rock posts. So basically, we just keep guys in the know with what's happening in the scene just a little bit. Sometimes it's Kenya, sometimes it's not. And then we'll come back to tell you how much the tickets are. All right, so for our first story, it's about Irony Destroyed. They're hardcore, 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 hardcore Kenyan band. And guess what? They have an album on the way. We're super excited. It's going to be dropping the same day as guys are having the event. This is next Saturday on the 22nd. I'm so excited. It's called Rebirth, and they released a track list. Let's have a look. Rebirth, are we excited or what? Man, these albums are coming from every direction. Like, bro, like I'm going to excuse that there's no Kenyan rock. What are you talking about? Album, album, album. That is another album. Like, <laughs> too much. And then when we were doing the stories, we didn't even know how long we are going to be here yet. We hadn't confirmed. We confirmed like really late. But they performed at Gekko Cafe last week. I told you guys even last Saturday that they were going to be performing. So we just got a snippet from how the show went down. Let's have a look. Awesome, right? Now there's more of that next week on Saturday. They'll be on stage live, right? And now, on the last one, Alta Bridge. Now, even international bands have albums just coming every week. Now, Alta Bridge have a new album. It came out yesterday. It's called Pawns and Kings. For people who play chess, you know what that is all about. All right, Pons and Kings out now. If you love Alter Bridge, go check it out, right? Super dope, amazing stuff. All rockers are working hard. You have no excuse. It's all up to you. All right, now, under tour, I'm going to be hosting. DJ Max Jones is going to be playing. Uh, he's going to be DJing, of course. And then Lone Tree are going to be performing. Uh, Can We Sleep are going to be performing. Rush Band are going to be performing as well. And it's going to be awesome. Um... Well, the advanced tickets are just 800 bob, right? Yeah, 800 bob. 1,000 bob at the gate. Yeah. So, uh, let's do this. You just, like, tell us your last remarks and give us your socials. Oh, cool. And your social media has really grown, by the way. I don't know how you guys are doing. Yeah. You need to give me a secret. I'm stuck yeah. at 14K. I'm not moving. <laughs> like, <laughs> you need to tell us the secret. Yeah. Uh, so, you give us your socials and can we sleep as well? And, of course, rush as we wind up. All right, cool. Um, so you can find us basically at Lone Tree Band pretty much everywhere. Mm. Um, but yeah, on Instagram, at Lone Tree Band, and then uh, Lone Tree on YouTube. So, yeah. Awesome. Can we sleep? Yeah. Where do we find you? Everywhere as can W3 sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Can W3 sleep. Yeah. Basically, just can we sleep? <laughs> can we sleep? Yeah. And then, of course, Gatos, uh, your specials as a rush band. Uh, for rush, you can f on Facebook, it's uh, Rush Band 5. Uh, on Twitter, at Rush Band 5. On Instagram, at Rush underscore Band 5. And then, also, I think also we should uh, shout out Undertow. Uh, and you can also follow the, because it's going to be a series of events every year. Uh, so you can also follow Undertow for you to be informed every time there's, a, there's an event coming up. So at undertow.ke is the Instagram handle. Yeah. All right. That's super awesome. And Dr. Reed is tuning in right now on my uh, Dr. Tufi, for that metal set. Is this what I needed? My neighbors must be really happy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Make them mad. Make them hard. Let them, you know, like they don't have a choice. They have to listen to your playlist by fire or by force, you know.